I know this has been a very difficult week for you in the state of Virginia, so where would you like to begin? Well, it has been a, a difficult week. What did you make of the governor's explanation? Well, the interview was at 7 o'clock, and he was there ready to go. We were in his house, of course. He was there ready to go, and he was on time. He admits to us he struggled in his initial response to that photograph on his yearbook page. Northam now says this is a teaching moment for himself and the country. And he clearly is very anguished by this whole situation. Oh, I, I didn't feel that he was spinning a story. I think he's anguished. I think he's very sincere. And I think that he's hoping that once voters and viewers hear his story, that they will reconsider the calls for his resignation. What have you learned that you didn't know before? Well, several things, starting with I was born in white privilege. Right. You know, I have to say, when I was talking to him, I did not feel that he was, in, he was disingenuous or that he was trying to spin a story. He knows that he has a lot of questions to answer, you know, that. But more than half of black Virginians do not think that he needs to step down. Just, Wouldn't you have preferred to have this unique opportunity another way? I would, but yeah. again, again, I really do believe that things happen for a reason. Um, I, I am a faithful person. and yeah, it, It's a very interesting time for the governor because what, what I walked away feeling is that he so wants to make this right. And I talked to many black people and white people in Virginia who say he has a lot of support in the state of Virginia, who say, give, give, look at his history, look what he's done. No one, the people I talk to do not believe that he's racist. They think that it was a stupid thing, but they do not think that he's a racist person. Gail, it was such a good interview, and I think what you did, it was try and broaden the lens. Yes. Give us yes. more context behind when we judge people very quickly and give a larger scope of this. His career includes working as a pediatric neurologist, taking, going, visiting the homes mm -hmm. of hundreds of African-American families in crisis. He went to an integrated school. Mm -hmm. His parents mm -hmm. could have sent him to a private all-white school, as the New York Times points out today. Mm -hmm. We have to view this in context and what we can learn from it. Yeah, it's it's no question, he's question. had yeah. some missteps, but yeah. I saw an interesting mm -hmm. article over the weekend, guys, where it said, is there anybody out there that can't say they did something stupid in their 20s mm -hmm. or in their 30s?